Hello Lulas, welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share, share, share in all your groups and with all your dolly friends. And follow me on Instagram, it's Miss Randy Smith Babies. Also, you can join the Chatterbox. The membership is $1.99 per month for exclusive content to be in the know etc etc you do have to be at least 18 years old to join um i have here vegas vegas is the willow asleep sculpt by claire teller sculpted by claire teller painted by me he is gonna get hair guys don't freak out um it's just he's just waiting in line with all the other babies um i'm gonna try to put him on some uh browns some natural colors today um and I, while i talk to you guys about some of the little changes that's going on all right so as you guys know um i am first a collector then i started painting because i wanted more dolls <laughs> so um but i get a lot of messages emails and everything about customs and most people that follow me pretty much know that i do not um the two things that i get the most is um doing a tutorial for painting or which i don't know why people want me to do a tutorial for painting because i am still figuring this all out but um the other thing I get is customs and so I don't I know a lot of artists have stopped doing customs I don't really do them um, one because the doll world can be <laughs> kind of cold and cruel and also I am not able to really give like um, you know true deadlines i i work so weird and i just i just like to to do stuff you know within my own free time so but i have done um a few in the past and i am uh, i did take a spot for a private order which private order is a little bit different from custom it's not like so specific and what the baby is you know the details and all that stuff i kind of get more free range but you know um i don't necessarily mind working with people who really understand the art and you know understand that <laughs> every single thing is not going to be perfect um because I am not a perfect artist. Um, and I try and try to tell people that all the time. And the reason why I try to tell people that is because I don't want anyone to think that I think that I am. Or that I am better than any other artist or anything like that. I am just me doing what I love and doing my best. So, um, sometimes that best can be amazing. Sometimes it can be mediocre. Sometimes it could be average. Sometimes it could just be <laughs> blah, you know? Um, usually if it comes out blah, I discount it though. Or don't sell it. <laughs> but... Yeah, so anyway, um, I decided that as long as everything goes well, and I usually do this until I get run into something that irritates my soul, and then I'm like, okay, I can't do this no more. But um, occasionally I will, you know, say, okay, I'll take a spot for this or that. Um, to, you know, for... Uh, reserve a uh, uh, private kit um painting or whatever 
I do not root vinyl. So I do root my silicone, but I do not root vinyl. I'm not one of those fancy, you know, swish wash swirls of a rooter, but I think I do pretty decent. Um, so I don't offer, I don't usually offer uh, reborns as a private order just simply because most people want hair and I can't, I can't really say when I can, I can't give a, a true deadline when I'm depending on someone else to root for me. So, um, to avoid any conflict or issues about timelines and baby not being done in time, et cetera, et cetera, I just do not offer that service. Um, right now, and I, I'm, I'm, it's crazy because as soon as I said I was gonna start packing my stuff away for a reborn painting, I've just been, I don't know which socks I wanna put them on. I've just been so in love with um, some kits and I wanna paint them. But I've been trying not to paint too many vinyls lately only because I've been a little frustrated because I, I haven't been able to get them rooted. So I just kind of been working on my silicone painting. So, so I have a couple babies going in the background and I'm enjoying it and I'm, I'm experimenting a little bit, not so much with technique. Cause I feel like if something worked for me and I'm not having any issues as far as that go, then I'm, I'm just sticking to it, but I do, and I know I probably do stuff the long way, but I do experiment with colors, like, you know, color combinations, changing different, you know, undertones and with skin tones and seeing how it works. Oh, he looks so cute. Um, so I'm having fun with that, but yeah. Um, so I will occasionally right now, I don't know. If I'll have another spot before um, Christmas, I keep saying that. I, I'm I'm trying to see how it go. Um, so it depends on how the prototype come along and me getting it rooted, <clears throat> Greta. And that will kind of give me an idea um, once I get the other, once I start working on the private order that I have it'll give me an idea of if I have enough time to accept one more um, custom spot um, I am NOT the cheapest um, as when it comes to my work um, I set my own prices it's you know not really negotiable it is like it is what it is is either you are okay with it or you're not I take a lot of time painting these babies I do not um, just blush and go so it takes me a lot of time it takes me a lot of material and um, so I charge for it I will I don't know how to do like if I offer up a spot I last time I just put it in the chatter box and it was like for a specific sculpt so I may do them for like specific sculpts. Like I might say I have a spot for, like say if I got a blank here already and I'm gonna paint it, if somebody wanna reserve it as a private order, I might do it that way. Um, there's only a couple people that I know for sure that I enjoy painting on silicone and that is uh, Silicone Studio. Well, yeah, and no, this is in no particular order. Um, of course, Claire Teller um, and Lillian Breville, which is Claire Teller pours for them. So Claire Teller Dolls is the pourer. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I just have to explain sometimes because some people are new and they don't really understand like why, you know, um, different sculpting, same pour. So I don't mind those pours. I absolutely love it. It's actually my favorite. Um, and then my... 
Um, next favorite is Silicon Studio and then Maria Lynn Grover. Um, there are others out there I'm trying to think that I've painted on that I did not mind. Um, back in the day when I painted my very first one was from Christina Vassell, which I don't think she does kits anymore. Um, her silicone was really nice to paint from. There's quite a bit of uh, people. There's only like maybe one or two people that I do not touch their silicone or two or three. Um, I just don't paint their silicone anymore. Um, maybe if I go to a show or I go somewhere and I see it and it's, you know, it's changed, I will... Uh, change my mind on it and it's not to say that you know any other pay, uh, pores is not good is not nice or blah 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 I'm not saying that I'm just saying what I'm comfortable with and what I've worked with and kind of know you know where I get my best results from um, because it all goes hand hand in hand so that's another thing and a lot of people may feel some type of way about me because of that. Oh well, you're entitled to your feelings and your thoughts and opinions about me being extra picky about what I paint. Um, I thought I was the only one that felt this way, um, but I saw like a lot of big time prototype artists um, talking about it once in a forum and it was so funny. I don't want to call a name because I get two of them mixed up and I'm not sure which one it was that said it, but they were like, they even turn, they turn out a lot of prototypes. If they're not feeling it, they just can't paint it. And it's not that they're trying to act like they're all that or whatever. Um, but they just need to feel it to be able to get their best work. I have contacted certain people, high-end artists that I buy from privately. Um, and there were particular sculpts that they said, mm -mm, I don't want to, I don't want to paint that sculpt. Um, you have to pick another sculpt <laughs> and you know and I've had more than one to do that and I'm like oh okay um so you know some of that stuff a lot of people feel like you know that's being picky that's this but it's actually to your benefit that they're upfront with that than them to say okay I'll take it and do just about anything oh I gotta go all right guys talk to you guys later thanks for watching um i will continue another video later bye bye